As stated in the previous video, you want the width to height ratio of your smaller computer printout paper to match that of the width to height ratio of your larger drawing paper. In this situation, we are going to crop the smaller computer image to match the proportions or the width to height ratio of the larger drawing paper. I've decided to draw Stevie Lynn on a piece of drawing paper that is 12 inches wide by 18 inches high. This is a very common size piece of drawing paper and one that I use in my art room. There are numerous photo editing programs you can use to crop an image. I'm going to use Photoshop. This is what the crop tool looks like in Photoshop. The program that you use may use a similar type tool, it may use a marquee tool, or something else. The important thing is that you set the width to height ratios on the computer printout paper to match those of the paper you are drawing to. Since we are going to be drawing to a piece of paper that is 12 inches wide by 18 inches high, that is what I have set the options to for the crop tool. Once you have positioned the cropping area around the image the way you want it and have applied it, it should now match that of the larger drawing paper. If your project is going to be a black and white or grayscale image, you may wish to convert the computer printout to grayscale. You can do this by either converting the image mode or simply desaturating the image. This may also be a good time to adjust the lights and the shadows in the image. I usually like to use the levels command. Once you've got your image looking the way you want, you are ready to get a printout. Print settings can vary depending upon the image editing program that you are using. Some programs automatically size the paper to match that of the paper that is in your printer. Photoshop does not. Notice here how the outer edge of the picture is getting cut off. To remedy this in Photoshop, select the Scale to Fit Media option. Now the entire image has been scaled to fit the media, meaning the paper in this instance that is in the printer. Again, these options will look different if you're using a different program. Just make sure that you select the necessary options in order to fit the entire image on a computer printout of a maximum size. Your width to height ratio of your computer printout should now match the width to height ratio of the paper you are going to draw to.